what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we have this 2019 dutch ram uh 5 500 and today we are going to fix a little problem that this truck has as you can see it has the chicken light on and well you're wondering why i have this connection right here well if you don't know from the year 2018 and up you need wi-fi and you need to unlock the gateway module in order to gain access to read well you can read the codes the codes on the obd2 port but you cannot erase them because you need to unlock the gateway so what i'm did right here is i bypass the uh gateway module using this adapter it comes right here and it connects to my vci the other thing i can do is uh with the scanner there's a function that that i can unlock it but you need to put the password every time you do it it's, it's just a lot of work and i don't want to deal with it so i just do this instead <clears throat> that's why i have the adapter because it makes things a lot easier i mean you have to take out the cluster but once you have your repairs done then you can put everything back together all right so the video today is gonna be about this code right here let me see if i if it's gonna be there all right so as you can see we have reduction suction line heater control circuit open so this means that let me actually show you because i already bought the the line so this is the line you are gonna buy because this line has a heater built in i don't know if you can see really well okay right here so this connection is the heater for the dev here it connects to the dev pump and over here it connects to the dev injector on the exhaust <clears throat> so if you don't know every time the uh the dev gets cold it crystallizes so it needs a heater in order to make to keep the dev warm in cold environments as you can see we are cold right now and that's why the heater fell i believe but anyways um the way to check if it's wrong if it's bad you gotta get under the vehicle and disconnect the connection it's gonna be on this side right here at the bottom very far bottom and well i'm gonna film also the process of taking this line out and well enough with the talking and let's get down to business all right let's go okay so here we have the line which is this one i'm under the vehicle and this is the heater for the okay so i was telling you this is the line right here and this is a heater connector so if you take the heater connector and use the multimeter in continuity remote uh, you can put it across and you will see if your heater is not good or not but i already did and it actually has a secret open so it means the resistance in there it's broken and well if you follow the line it goes under here down there and it comes this way right here and goes on top right here it was como pueden ver llega aquí al inyector so it gets to the injector right here um it doesn't look like a really hard job it's just a lot of clips <coughs> parece que no está tan difícil nomás son clips que hay que remover pero si sí hay que quitar la tapa de aquí para poder acceder al a lo de abajo donde está la pompa so we need to take this uh, cover off I believe I have to take let me see I'm not sure if I have to take the whole thing off or actually just remove these two bolts and and slice out oh yeah it slice this way and that way we can take the line out all right so let me do this and I'll, ba I'll be back when I get it done. All right, so the line is already installed. As you can see, we got the brand new line. And well, it's not that hard as it looks to replace it. Um, it's very simple. You just, uh, the way this uh, line is gonna come out is through this way, right here. So it's a, uh, <coughs> It's not that difficult it's just just gotta pull it from this way and when you put it back you're gonna put it this way too all right 
All right, so the lines are already installed. Right now, I'm going to erase the code, and as you can see, it needs Wi Fi for this. Downloading the uh, unlock file for this truck. That's why um, it's because I have the uh, valid subscription for this uh, truck. I mean, for this scanner. So we're gonna select this <clears throat> and check the code again. And there we go, downloading the file again. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let me close this, this door. Alright. System data, pre codes. And we still have the same code. So I'm just gonna erase it because I already did the repair. And before, usually, the code will come on really quick after turning on the truck so let's see the chicken engine light it's already off it's erased let's see if we have any special functions to calibrate that uh, resistance for the line but I don't think we have any for that we're gonna cancel that it doesn't need, it doesn't need that so the redundant tank heater, this is in, that's inside the, the tank. And well, we have a bunch of tests right here, but it's nothing related with the exterior. All right, so I think we're good. So I will call this problem fixed. We don't have the light anymore and looks like everything's good so what I have to do now is just put the cluster back connect those uh, connections back to the gateway and we'll take this car to the customer and call it a day all right guys so thank you so much for watching the video please if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe comment down below turn notifications on and also like the video and I'll see you on the next episode see you fix out